what? A bit too simply. Oh, I'm a little luckier. And it's time to enter the amazing, the epic, the legendary Yugi's World. And then I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for some more epic Yu-Gi-Oh videos. So I'm super excited to pop this open for you guys. We just opened Joey's World, so now it's time to enter Yugi's World. And uh, this is actually known as one of the most valuable sets at the moment because of each individual card holding its own. It's pretty pretty insane if you guys just check values of this set. It's like every card is worth a dollar. So uh, it's pretty funny. Or a lot of the cards anyways. But yeah, so let's pop it open. But first I want to thank our friends at Ultra Pro for the awesome Yuki playmat from Sword Art Online. And then we'll be using our teal, uh, teal greens to go with the uh, Seal of Orichalcos theme going on here. So you know, let's pop it open. And so this version of the Legendary Collection 3 is not first edition, it is unlimited. However, there's still many valuable cards. Like, I'll just name some cards, you guys, that have, have some value in here. You got um, Dark Magician Girl, Dark Paladin, Raigeki. Um, a few cards that have gone up in value is Graceful Charity in here, you guys, have shot up because it's the highest rarity of it. And uh, it may come back, but it's still a very fun card to use in different types of formats, or different formats. And yeah, so Graceful Charity, Harpy's Feather Duster, Upstar, Goblin, Brain Control, Imperial Order, Order Sangin. And then there's even commons in here that hold their value, like, um, there we go. The Manju of 10,000 Hands, Toon Table of Contents, Horus. Uh, there's so many. Oh, Buster Blader is valuable in here because it's like a secret rare version of the card. So let's see what we can get. If we can get any of those cards, you guys, that would be pretty freaking epic. Okay. So first pack, here we go. Yugi's World. It's time to enter. Alright, first off, we have Swift Guy, the Fierce Knight. Very cool. A giant soldier of stone, a giant warrior made of stone, a punch from this creature has earth shaking results. Silent Swordsman, level 5. A tune, a summon skull, nice. And an Ultra Grave Keeper's Recruiter, nice. Easily worth the pack there. Very awesome card. Ultra Rare Grave Keeper's Recruiter. And when this card you control is sent to your graveyard, we'll add one Gravekeeper's monster with 15 or less defense from your deck to your hand. Very powerful card. Gravekeeper's Recruiter. And a Secret Commander, Com Covington. And Solar Flare Dragon Super Rare. Solar Balls. If you guys haven't seen our Booster Box battle with uh, Pharaonic Guardian. Battle of Egypt, that was that one. Mystical Elf and Mirage Knight. Very cool. Set those there, and let's sleeve up our Gravekeeper's Recruiter. Starting strong, you guys. Okay. Second pack, here we go. Heart of the cards, guide us. You know what, I'm gonna throw those two bad boys in the front. We have Charm of Shakti. A Summoner of Illusions. Draining Shield, Mystic Books. A DD Scout Plane, rare. And a Gravekeeper Spear Soldier, very nice. A Dark Hole Secret Rare. And Salvage Super, nice. That's actually not a bad card. And Defusion. Is it two to three cards in the back? Killing me. Okay. Set those there. Legendary Collection Yugi's Worlds, you guys. Can we get one of those classic cards? Dark Magician Girl, Dark Paladin, Raigeki, Graceful Charity, Harpy's Feather Duster. Here we go. Let's do three this time. I have a feeling I'm going to put the foil in the front. I knew it. Alright, Salvage. I felt like it's just going to mess with me. Dark Horse, Earth Chant, Alpha the Magnum, Warrior, Man Eater Bug, Non Spellcasting Area, Acid Trap Hole, A Dust Tornado, and Nice, a Seeker Rare Arcana Knight Joker. This guy's actually not that easy to find. Especially first edition. Very cool card. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve him up. Kanan Knight Joker, 3,800 attack. Queen's Knight, Jack's Knight, and King's Knight. If this face of card on the field is targeted by a spell, trap, or monster effect, discard the same type of card to negate the effect. Very cool. Two packs left, you guys. Can we get an epic card? Yugi Boy, King of the Swamp. Whoa, Dark Refer, Big Eye. Needle Worm, nice. Phoenix Wing Windblast Secret Rare and a Fisher. 
Silent Magician level 4, Messenger of Peace, and the Puppet Master. It's been a while. Ultra Rare Needleworm. Very cool. Secret Rare Phoenix Wing Windblast. Man, these cards are pretty. Okay, guys, the last pack of Destiny for our Legendary Collection 3 Yugi's World. Believe in the heart of the cards. Kaiba! Here we go. Nice! Dark Sage. Actually one of the most valuable commons in the set. Very cool. Black Luster Ritual. Centrifugal Field. Smashing Ground. Nice. And a Feather of the Phoenix along with Raigeki Break. Well, we did get a Raigeki card. Command Knight, Arm Dragon, and Beta. Wow. Alright, so for our recap... And I also want to give a shout out to David Adams Cardboard. I'll put a link at the top of the description below you guys. Check them out. They got a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards and product and singles. So we have that Feather Duster, the Smashing Ground. You know, with our Feather Duster, we got the Wing Wing Blast. Feather of the Phoenix and a Wing of the Phoenix. We got the Smashing Ground and the Fisher. That's funny. We got the Raigeki and the Raigeki Break. Not really, just the Raigeki Break. Uh, what else do we have here? We got two Salvages. We got a Dust Tornado and a Dark Hole. Both clearing, destroying things on the field. Got the Gravekeeper Spear Soldier, Needle Worm, Commander Covington, a Dark Sage, and a Solar Balls. Very cool. Arcane and I Joker and Gravekeeper's Recruiter. Man, I have to get more of these Yugi's Legendary Collection 3s. Yugi's World is just too, too OP, too overpowered. All right, you guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Remember, subscribe for some more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And simply, on oh, lucky, signing out.